Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Kashmir Food Fusion. Click on the subscribe button here to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon button to remain updated. Today we are going to show you how to make methimas or the intestines of the sheep with fenugreek at home. This is a very famous dish in the Vazwan and is served in the beginning. This dish is very simple and easy to make at home. If you will follow the steps you will get to know. Here I have used 1 kg of the intestines of sheep and you can see that I have cleaned them properly. Then we need 1 large cup of ghee. Then I have used ginger powder. I will show you the quantity of these spices in the video so keep watching. And I've used turmeric powder here, then garlic cloves. I've also used salt. Then I've used other ingredients like two to three black cardamom, four green cardamom, and two cinnamon sticks. Now let's get started. First of all, we will chop this garlic into smaller pieces. I haven't used a ginger garlic paste here because we're already using ginger powder and Mithmas doesn't have a lot of flavor of ginger. Therefore, we're using just garlic, plain garlic cloves. If you have garlic paste, you can use it, but here I'm using fresh garlic cloves and I'm chopping them into smaller pieces. And I'll show you the quantity of the other spices during uh, the recipe, so please keep watching. And I'm adding some other spices in between as well, so make sure not to miss them. So in a vessel now I poured these intestines of the sheep after cleaning them and washing them and covering it water. You have to make sure that the water covers these intestines properly. Now I'm adding these garlic cloves. They were approximately three to four garlic cloves. Now I'm adding salt. You can use salt according to your own taste. Now I'm using two black cardamom, four green cardamom and one cinnamon sticks. Then I'll cover it with a lid and place it on a burner on a high flame. We will wait for uh, the water to boil and we have to wait until the stock is ready. Therefore, we will keep it on burn on high flame. Here you can see that the intestines are boiling and they have they are leaving the flavor. Now you can see that the mm, stock is reduced and it looks good. So we will take these intestines out on a plate and wait for them to cool down because we have to chop them and the stock that we have here we will strain it and reuse it again. So this is a wooden log which is available in most homes in Kashmir. So I am chopping these intestines over this wooden log with the help of a large knife. If you don't have such things at home, the log and this knife, you can use a plain chopping board as well. But you have to make sure that the intestines get chopped finely. They may take a longer time for you if you are chopping them on a chopping board but the, your job will be done here you can see that I have chopped them into fine pieces now I will take them out on a plate so after taking them out on a plate um, we are using this um, strained stock and I'm again adding two to three cloves of garlic into it and now I will add these chopped intestines of sheep into it Here you can see so after adding this I'll add other spices first of all I've placed it on a burner and I've placed it over a high flame I want it to boil. Here I've added uh, two black cardamom and I'll also add two green cardamom into it. Plus I've added some ghee. You can see that it's boiling. Now I will add half a teaspoon of ginger powder. I told you that I will show you the quantity later. 
so here it is i've just added half a teaspoon of ginger powder don't add too much of it then i will also add half teaspoon of turmeric powder we need turmeric powder for color and little bit of flavor please add uh, only a half teaspoon don't add a lot of it because then it will be the taste of turmeric now i'm giving it a good mix i've added like i said one large cup of ghee also into this mixture and now this is boiling and now i'm adding fenugreek dried fenugreek leaves Anything. I'm adding approximately one teaspoon of it. This is the uh, main ingredient in the kasturi. This meat mass you have to add it necessarily. Now this is the food color. The vaza here as the food color because we don't add red chili powder into meat mass, but we need a redder color. Therefore, we are adding the food color. You can skip this if you don't want, but your meat mass won't be dark red in color then. Here you can see that I am not adding the food color all at once. I am adding it accordingly. If, if the color is good enough, then I'll not add more. But if I want a darker red, then I'm adding a little bit of more color. So now it's boiling. This is the mix mass. This is how the vaza makes it. So into the stock, as you saw, we added the spices, the ghee. The fen dried fenugreek leaves, and now I've added some food color as well and the spices as well. And I'll wait for it to cook. If you don't have much time, you can put it in a pressure cooker and it'll cook, it'll cook quickly. But I placed it on a medium flame and I have waited for the stock to reduce. However, you can cook it in a pressure cooker and wait for three to four whistles until um, the intestines will be soft. Now I have taken it out in a bowl. We can see the color, and it's all because of the food color. No red chili powder is added here, and it tastes superb. You should eat it with your rice. It tastes best with rice, but you can eat it with roti as well. Please try this recipe. This is an authentic recipe, and I'm sure you would love it. This is the same recipe that is served in the last one. And please try this and let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe.